New York City, home of the skyscraper, Broadway, Central Park, and soon-to-be former financial capital of the United States. It may sound crazy, but if current trends keep going, Wall Street is set to leave New York City. Let's explore what exactly is going on in the financial sector, why firms are leaving New York, and where they are going. First, what is happening in the financial sector? Once again, the pandemic has changed everything, or at least forced the industry to introspect. Since the dawn of financial services in America, New York City has been the hub. If you wanted to be in finance, you had to live and work in New York. The finance sector had an especially strong network effect and cultural presence, making moving major financial operations anywhere else just unthinkable. New York City was the center of the financial universe. Then comes 2020. Being forced to work remotely since March, the executives of large banks and financial firms realized that their employees could be just as productive working from home. While banks are likely to be the last firms to accept hybrid or fully remote on a permanent basis, the lockdowns have forced them to reconsider where their offices are located. Locating major offices to a lower cost of living city saves the employer's money in direct cost of leasing an office space and saves the employee's money by affording them a higher standard of living for cheaper. Most financial activities have taken place online for decades, but the network effect kept banks glued to New York and New Jersey indefinitely. However, for the first time in forever, these firms have started to consider options outside of New York. So why are these firms so intent on leaving New York City? The easy answer is the cost of living and the cost of doing business. 2020 hurt the culture and energy of New York City more than almost any place else. What's the point of living in a big city like New York and paying the exorbitant costs of living if you can't actually enjoy any of the amenities or activities that you're paying for? You can't go enjoy the restaurants, you can't go see a Broadway show, tour an art gallery, or really do anything but stay cooped up inside your closet of an apartment. Additionally, for the health conscious and vulnerable populations, Living in such a dense and crowded city like New York is a liability and potential danger to their health. Combine that with increasing prices and an explosion in the crime rate, and New York is not as attractive now as it was 12 months ago. Additionally, to make up for massive budget shortfalls, New York and New Jersey are attempting to enact punishing taxes on the financial sector in particular. In New York, tax increases on everything from personal income to capital gains to property taxes are set to rise next year. Additionally, New York is mulling over a wealth tax, something unfavorable to the city's 120 plus billionaires. New Jersey, meanwhile, which is the current location of all of the data centers which actually process financial transactions and stock trades, is considering taxing all financial transactions which occur in the state. In response to the looming tax increases, both personal and corporate, companies' leaders are being forced to look for lower tax states to move themselves and their operations to. Many of these firms have threatened to move business operations out of New York and New Jersey if these new taxes are enacted. Additionally, for many of the city's wealthy residents, the potential tax increases seal the deal on looking for a new home, especially if that home has zero state income tax. So far in 2020, almost 90,000 high-income households have already left New York for other states. So where are companies and executives moving to? It's hard to tell exactly, but a few hotspots have already emerged. Florida has long been the vacation home of New Yorkers and many wealthy bankers have second or third homes there. 
the beautiful climate, warm winters, proximity to beaches, affordable housing by New York standards, and lack of a state income tax make Florida extremely competitive in attracting Wall Street. Also, Florida has long been courting Wall Street, but 2020 makes this appear closer to reality. Several large hedge funds, including Elliott Management and ICANN Enterprises, are both planning on relocating fully from New York to the Miami area. The real earthquake, however, happened when Goldman Sachs, the premier investment bank in the world, announced it was potentially relocating an entire division to Florida. Financial firms do still tend to cluster near each other, and Miami is starting to emerge as the new cluster. I wouldn't be surprised if, in the next six months, a major investment firm or bank announces a full relocation to Miami. Other financial centers may be on the horizon as well. Charlotte is already the second largest financial center in the U.S., housing the headquarters of Bank of America and BBT, and offices from just about every other major American bank. With a business-friendly environment, extremely low cost of living, and existing financial services infrastructure, Charlotte looks to be another prime spot for relocation. If the physical data centers in New Jersey are forced to relocate, Miami or Charlotte is the likely destination. We could very well see a world where the New York Stock Exchange is physically located in Florida or North Carolina. Lastly, Dallas is a bit of a dark horse, but nonetheless a strong contender for financial firms to relocate. With similar virtues like low cost of living, existing financial infrastructure, business-friendly environment, and no state income tax, I could see many firms opening or expanding offices in Dallas. Additionally, a unique draw for the city is its proximity to Austin, which is the likely destination of many tech companies, and specifically, and importantly, financial tech companies. As fintech plays an increasingly important role in the finance sector, being a two-hour drive away from the future home of disruptive startups is an attractive proposition for old economy firms looking to innovate and acquire new technologies. If you are considering a career in finance, consider looking into one of these three cities in the coming year. And if you already work in finance, it might be time to start browsing through South Florida real estate.